hello okay today we shall be we shall be uh, selecting we shall be selecting number of legs that can be used in bar VCM and Johansen co integration test and and the var VECM and Johansen test are all system equation models so we can use the same number of lags okay and here here we have three variables such as such as cons then export then GDP so the variables are here you can see the variables are here right the variables are here from the 1960 until 1995 right so so and uh, this is the variable cons export and gdp we have these three variables right okay okay and 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 what is our guideline what is our guideline Uh, to to choose number of lakhs okay so the it is AIC value that is the guideline meaning that lower the AIC value better the model all the time okay and here first first uh, I shall take lag 1 then lag 2 and then lag 4 right and I shall uh, I shall uh, check the AIC value and the lower the AIC value, the lower the AIC value, that that lag will be selected to use in var VCM and co-integration test okay okay so what I do uh, I go to statistics and I go to multivariate time series then I go to vector model var model Okay, so here the first variable I put cons, ex and GDP and the first I take lag 1, right, lag 1 as planned. Then I set the time settings, then I, I, I take this variable OBS and yearly data, data is yearly, then press OK 
then so it is lag one right lag one so then i press ok so this is my model right this is var model right and this one is the uh, dependent variable and she has only one lag you can see so cons lag one export lag one gdp lag one right and here is also lag one eh? so what about this one export lag one what about this one gdp lag one right but here what is the value of aic so th that is our main target aic value is 3.23 when i take lag 1 3.23 when I take lag 1 okay okay now I can I can uh, I can do the model again by taking lag 2 as planned so I go to multivariate time series vector var model okay then this time i take lag 2 as planned right i take lag 2 as planned so it is set i press ok so so the this one is the lag 2 right you can see lag 2 so uh, so uh, you can see the value of aic when I take lag 2 is 2 point oh sorry 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 so the value of AIC becomes uh, 2.97 when I take lag 2 right so here uh, what is called AIC actually we can call it a chi k information criteria right that is AIC okay and uh, then uh, then uh, we go to statistics again so this time I shall take lag 4 I go to statistics multivariate time series var model so here I take lag 4 right I take lag 4 this time then press ok so this is lag 4 you can see lag 4 are here you can see th that every variable has 4 lag right every variable has 4 lakh but what about the value of AIC the value of AIC is I'm sorry that mistake okay the value of AIC has become the value of AIC has become 2.31 right when I take lag 4 and the value of AIC become uh, 2.97 when I took lag 2 right and value of AIC became uh, three point two three when I took lag one. Okay, now the the the, uh, the 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 guideline is 
lower the value better the model so here i can say that actually uh, mm -hmm, here i can see that lag one right lag uh, lag four actually has the lowest aic value that is 2.31 right that is 2.31 and the value is the lowest right and lower the value better the model so we shall be using lag 4 to run to run var model or vcm model or Johansen test of co integration test of co integration okay and all these three models such as var vcm and Johansen test of co integration are system equation model so we can use the the same number of lags same number of lags right we can use the same number of lags so uh, what is our what is our result optimum lag is 4 for this model so that is the decision of the of the lag selection okay thank you very much for for stay with me for a while